This is Prisoner of Ice, played for us by Silenig. A sequel to a popular game? Very much so. This is Shadow of the Comet Part 2, more or less. With us this time is Ty Tuesday. How are you? Howdy. I'm looking at this. <laughs> <laughs> so... Well, it doesn't waste this, any time, does it? No, the boys at Chaosium learned 3D graphics in the time between games. As you can see here. We figured out the technology. Let's blow shit up. <laughs> you might wonder what this has to do with the Cthulhu mythic, you know, universe kind of thing, so... I know, it's clear to me. Yeah, it's right. Ah, <laughs> <What? laughs> oh, shit. So that's what's in the Shrank him box. <laughs> <laughs> This one boot, though, I'll leave. This is a warning to the others. All right, Bruno Bunnell, what do you got for us? So, yeah, like I said, sequel to Shadow of the Comet. This is Infragrames, makers of Alone in the Dark and those other games. So is the octopus the titular character here? <laughs> I think so. I think you'll be finding it's not actually an octopus. Oh, look at this. Prisoners of computers. <laughs> and graphics. <laughs> and prisoners of just some prisoners. <laughs> Here's just six people, whatever. What? Why is there just an orb of stone underneath their names? What does that <laughs> represent? Just prisoners of the orb. It's, it's people in the, the the stone cell shining a flashlight on all the credits. Prisoners of a piece of the ground we couldn't stop staring at. <laughs> prisoners of watching it, and it's just got our, our names on it. <laughs> does it really say a lot of good things for your game when you call all of your people prisoners who worked on it? <laughs> Hashtag fuck Konami. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, let's. We can stop with the upfront credits, guys. Come Special on. Special prisoners, thanks to. <laughs> HP Lovecraft, fucking throw him on the end. Whatever. Not even the very end. Just like eh, kind of the middling end. <laughs> He's our warden. And the, and the human machine interface that wrote this. Here we go. Prisoner of ice. Also, underwater base. Also, barrels? Prisoner of very fast time changing. <laughs> Coming soon to Broadway! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, oh, no, got it. we get it. Yep. yep. Prisoner of Ice, we can start now. We're so busy putting Prisoner on our credits, we forgot to make a game. <laughs> Those are the end credits, actually. Okay. We're fun. We're done now. <laughs> In case you forgot! <laughs> this is every lighting effect we've ever programmed up until now. No, not the game! Oh, come no, on, come again! On. <laughs> <laughs> this is so oh, time's moving forward. I see. Now I'm ready to move on. <laughs> gotcha. Now yeah, I've got it. I'm kind of slow, but I've got it now. The ebb and flow of the green party lights. Everyone... Everyone knows that. Time goes on, time goes back. Party starts, party ends. Prisoner of Ice. Hey man, you want to go to the Prisoner of Ice nightclub later? <laughs> Do they have another color than green? No. They keep their sign lit up for only like a couple minutes at a time. <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> oh, crappy game. <laughs> Fuck. War warning, new game. <laughs> Even they weren't that confident in it. Prisoner January 1937. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna get sort of the plot dump. This is more or less in media res. Uh, this is so boring. Ah, <laughs> oh, Polaris, fuck! <laughs> oh, this is a brand tie in, I see. <laughs> the ultra secret brace known as Ice. Where he's a prisoner. Right. This is gonna be so fucking exciting, I can tell already. Prisoner Vice lights up on the subway, and we stare at it for five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> now the title sequence is ready to begin. Operation Polaris completed. Two crates on board, Bjorn Hansen recovered. Metal state critical. Lieutenant O'Leary reported missing. Returning to the base. Um, can we have an over, please? Are the two crates still covered with ice? What kind of question is that? Affirmative. You still have that guy blocking the ladder? Do not expose them to heat under any circumstances. Keep an eye on Hampson. He knows more. Do you read me? 
loud and clear. So they're saying Open don't up. turn the heat on it under any circumstances? To keep the beer cold and watch out for the mental guy. <laughs> He's like coming off of a really rough bender over the weekend. Tons of MDMA. <laughs> Do not let him get into the beer, man. He thinks he needs it, but it's a really bad idea. Just, just chill on him. You think Hampson will? I am Hampson Crates. <laughs> We should do our utmost to ensure that the scientific community does not lose its most brilliant anthropologist. H.P. Lovecraft. We sent we sent a submarine to rescue that an anthropologist. Hansen's got nerve. I wonder how on earth he managed to send us an SOS while in the hands of the Nazis. Wow, we're really dumping that whole plot in one shot, huh? <laughs> Operation Polaris would never have got off the ground. Plot is literally, yeah, Nazis got some boxes. We weren't okay with that, so we got them back. <laughs> Your Secret Service superiors in Washington will be pleased to know that they are now in the hands of the Royal Navy, Lieutenant Ryan. So that's us. We're Lieutenant Ryan. Uh oh, wait. More important matters. What, the boxes are. Vessel on the surface, Captain. <laughs> Lean with a rock with it. Check the vessels. Whoa, tip. Captain's fast. Climb to within 20 feet. <laughs> Everyone walks like they've got shit in there. They've all shit their pants. <laughs> no else well, for them to go on this thing. That's very far away from us, so we should be all right. They tracked us. Dive. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> I'm doing that right now. Sorry, trying to get the boobs in the butt shot at once. Saw it on a comic book cover. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to spice it up for, you know, the lads. Declare a state of red alert. <laughs> Damage report. Well, result. nothing happened at all, actually. <laughs> they hit the stern, Captain. No, they didn't. To the hold, Lieutenant. Follow me. What? Why? <laughs> I mean, walk directly parallel to me. I mean... <laughs> Watch the gap. <laughs> oh, no, not Jones. <laughs> oh, oh, crap. I forgot not to set the hall on fire. <laughs> Were we supposed to keep them cold or hot? I forgot. Something inside. <sighs> yes, you've covered that. The out with it. <laughs> you you can die now, soldier. It's fine. The other two guys are just kind of slowly backing away, trying to just leave. <laughs> like, we need to get the fire extinguisher. Dead, here. <laughs> it's hot here. It's weird. <laughs> don't stand in the fire. Well, don't just stand next to it. Uh oh. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Come here, you big lug. Give me a hug. <laughs> What an asshole we are! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, he's done for a slam! I can only focus on one thing at a time here. Alright, now that that's solved... <laughs> I guess right, I'm well. in charge now, cool. <laughs> good Actually, good you're... <laughs> you were actually There's right about that, look. Oh. There was something alive in the crates. I'm assuming command of the Victoria. I, I, uh, I have no questions about that at all. What are your orders? <laughs> We've got oh, to tame the beast. You walked into the what? back with those two other guys <laughs> and then like closed the door behind you? And then you're now you're the uh, only one alive? Okay, oh, whatever, sure. <laughs> what? You didn't even see the creature. Why are you just buying into are this? There any on board the Victoria? Well, there's a thing in the box. <laughs> no, Admiral. The Victoria is not fitted out for offensive operations. Oh, Where's Hampson? Maybe he knows something. They put him in a bunk to sleep, but he's still He's delirious, delirious but so handsome. Are you Lloyd knew more than we did. Did he mention the notes on Operation Polaris? I don't think so. He got his orders. <laughs> he seems so laid back with what's going on. Things. You know, you can turn around and look at me if you want. <laughs> no, this one dial is right, so really important. Critical dial. <laughs> <laughs> An octopus! Oh. oh. Alright, now that we've got some items, we can go figure out what to do here about the creature that's coming on and flood the chamber. Actually, our host of other problems. Oh, a hatchet. Are we playing Bomberman now? And a St. Christopher's medal. Excuse me, Wayne. Is Hampson fit enough to talk, Wayne? No, he hasn't stopped raving since we picked him up, Lieutenant. 
What's the update on the red alert? Oh, just monsters on board. Don't worry about it. Alert maintained. <laughs> okay. But we're not dealing with an ordinary enemy anymore. Captain Lloyd is and dead. And I'm freaking out. Hell, I'm coming up to the bridge. Oh, crap. So, go on. Driscoll <laughs> may be needing you. Sakharel, <laughs> big escape, gone. Well, clearly we need to hypnotize this man. Is <laughs> <laughs> being hypnotized or is he a cat? All right, you seem fine. Right. We better record that. Yeah, that's gonna be great on the mixtape. <laughs> nice. Oh, I'm gonna really embarrass him with this later. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we sent Wayne out there. Oh, crap. Oh, no. It's a monster. It's a monster with Kool-Aid man powers. I just thought this might work. And All it right. Did. It's it. Yep. You'll pull through, Wayne. Stay calm. Yeah, you just got slammed with a fucking bulkhead door. I'm for it, <laughs> You don't have to play, nurses, have to play multiple nurses like you typically do. <laughs> anyway, don't even look the part. Oh, Wayne, I'll miss uh, your wit. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to where we were a few minutes ago. <laughs> what happened to the enemy ship that was shooting at us? Eh, fuck him. So is the game <laughs> over? <laughs> it's just begun, I'm okay. afraid. Seems like you've solved the conflict. You're not getting out of the ice this easy. Uh oh. Oh crap, clock. <laughs> it's a grandfather clock Back aboard this Victoria, ship. Admiral. We'll never survive. Has the enemy vessel come back? Is it a reef? I've got nothing on radar, Admiral. It came from the. Right, well, now that he's Victoria. dead, you're in charge now for some reason. <laughs> Any damage? <laughs> Leakage in the torpedo room. We need to send an SOS and flush out the torpedo room. How many crates were there? All right. Two? All right, well, let's go back to the other crate and just, like, play this tank I guess. Let's go home. <laughs> Only the captain knew the transmission code and the frequency. I'm in charge. How do we do things on the ship? Stanley knows. Who is Stanley? Where can I find Stanley? <laughs> Below. Wait, they, where's the, the engine captain? room? They only gave the captain the special code to call for help. So if the captain dies, everyone's just fucked. Like, just like, uh, no, we need help. Are you the captain? Well, no, but he's no. dead. We need help. <laughs> Stop. Okay, bye. Like, <laughs> How do I use the radio? Fortunately, the captain was kind of a gossip, and Stanley might know. Help! Help! Classic Stanley. It's also a British submarine, so I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Beam? What I mean, can help. I do to free you? <laughs> Use the witch! Hurry, please! I do declare! <laughs> I need help! I'm from Liverpool! <laughs> Alright, so. Alright, now can you tell me how to use this walkie talkie? Stanley's trapped under a beam. We have to get him out. Is he drinking? Start up the witch and follow me with the walkie talkie. <laughs> the wanky tanky. I'll operate the winch from the bridge. Winch it, Driscoll! Winch it! Aye, aye, Admiral. I'm not a bad guy. I. Why did he get so sarcastic there? Okay, the chain's tied to the beam. Go! Well, a fucking girder fell on him, but fortunately... Thanks, Luke. He's fine. My engines! My engines! I-I-I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you're an engineer, huh? I need to send an SOS. This all says you can help me. <laughs> Um, it appears he got hit with the girdler, the girder, and turned into a toddler, dead. sir. This is a big problem. Oh my god! <laughs> Get me the radio frequency. 
Which translates to my am jams. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you what kind of accent they were trying to give him. I thought it was like <laughs> shitty southern at first, and now I just straight up don't know. I don't know what meow is. Seven four six one. Come on. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, let's 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 get our spanner from the engine room and take this metal wheel with us. You still dead there. You okay, Driscoll? Yeah. Just, all right. All right. Mayday, Mayday. HMS Victoria in difficulty. In difficulty? West, 48 South. That's sea talk. Like my engines. What's the code word for sent and otherworldly being back to his home dimension? <laughs> <laughs> Let's pan triumphantly Look at it over the frame ship. stuttering glory. <laughs> Beautiful. Ah, uh, yes. See, the radar Look only works water, on the right? off intervals, so it looks like we're never moving. <laughs> at the rate we're taking in water, we'll never be able to surface the Victoria, Admiral. Admiral. No allied vessel will be able to locate That's what I like about you, Driscoll. <laughs> Always the we optimist. We need to send something up to the surface. Would a dead body do it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go ask the monsters what to do. I'm gonna go hide in the box. Oh crap! <laughs> I'm the Admiral. I'll put right. on my Saint so Christopher. Can't traverse that floor. I'll put my Saint it Christopher medal impossible. on of ice protection once. and just gently walk across. <laughs> oh, oh, good Krampins oh, in a life. Perfect. The yes. fuck is a Krampin? <laughs> the fuck was that walking? He was so happy to pick up those items. God damn, I love my Krampins. <laughs> All right, now I'll put this bag on my feet. And, oh. Get you out of what? Embarrassing out of yourself again? Yeah, out of eating shit. <laughs> it's got it. It's walking like they're the iron boots from Zelda. Cramp on, cramp off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I hope no one saw that. If they will, I will kill them with this. <laughs> well, all right, let's destroy the electrical box now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Wait, that didn't help. <laughs> oh crap! Right, I so broke it. Good thing, that other guy <laughs> good thing that other guy never turns around. <laughs> this didn't help my situation at all. I'm a terrible admiral. Okay, is this electrical box just filled with sparklers as a joke? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> I think somehow it got damaged without the panel outside and we had to break it with the hatchet, but... All those circuits are vacant. I don't know. <laughs> there's, so, there's so much going on in, like, a small space. Alright. So, we gotta... Did we stop the flooding? No, I don't think so. So, we gotta do that. So now it's still called a flooding chamber. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big boy. I'm not afraid to swim. All right, so we're going to use the wheel we took off the bulkhead door here. I don't know why this didn't have a wheel, but it didn't. <laughs> and that will drain the water? I know because I'm narrating it, despite the fact that... Oh, now it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's problem one solved. Oh crap! There All was right, a monster let's... enjoying himself in the pool. Now the pool's gone. Now he's <laughs> mad as hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got Katan too long for two who or whatever. Yeah, Fadango. We got and a Fadango in the torpedo. <laughs> mistake. Wait, what was a mistake? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going into tube number. All right, let's fire ourselves out the torpedo <laughs> tube. Wait, what? Later, yeah. ship boards. <laughs> Admiral. <laughs> Admiral, well, this is not a time for your bucket list, sir. <laughs> There's a vessel on the surface. I think I can't see it. But... Lot, you won't have to swim for two. Shoot long. me directly at them. I've got this. All right, Admiral, let's go. <laughs> I take my hat off to him. He's got guts, that little lieutenant. Admiral. What? Is this like the ending what of a Christmas this? movie? No, fire like... me upwards, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I think I fucked up. 
<laughs> you think there's some asshole who shot himself out of a torpedo coming at us? Nah, that's stupid. <laughs> what the fuck? The distress flare! <laughs> Sound the alarm! We found them! Game over! And the Admiral was never heard from again. <laughs>